Let me be clear. To any corporation that's not brought their prices back down, even as inflation has come down, even as supply chains have been rebuilt, it's time to stop the price gouging and give the American consumer a break. A large and growing number of countries are steaming ahead with development and deployment of central bank digital currencies. And while crypto assets, including stable coins, have had their ups and downs, they're not going away. Bob, the founder of the World Economic Forum, will, sign a, will witness the signing of a memorandum of understanding on a strategic partnership between the UN and the World Economic Forum, which outlines areas of cooperation to deepen engagement between the two institutions and to jointly accelerate the implementation of the 2030 agenda. We're going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go, but clearly... We're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're, going, we're recovering, but to a different economy. And it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers. In Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. And so we'll import Chinese-based CBDC technology. So it's going to be CBDC in a box. Uh, provided to you by the People's Bank of China. But every stock, every bond, every currency, every commodity, every piece of art, every private business, every piece of real estate will eventually be a token on a blockchain, an entry on a ledger, permanent and immutable. We will have truth instead of trust, and we will save over $7 trillion a year. Six to 8% of global GDP is wasted by the friction of the trust industry that's necessary when you have dual entry accounting. With triple entry accounting, which is what a blockchain is, mm -hmm. we get rid of all of that friction. It's a beautiful future. Like what you see in China and their social credit scoring systems, right? If we get identity wrong, you know, it could be a tool to enslave humanity. And if we get it right, it could be a tool to liberate humanity as an American, you know. Uh, uh, I'm obviously rooting for the, the one that's on the side of freedom. Bitcoin is an international asset. And also, I do believe the role of crypto is, um, it is, it, it is it's digitizing gold. I actually believe this technology is going to be very important. I am, I, you know, look at it. We have been part of a huge revolution in investing through ETFs. We believe that ETFs will be changing the whole way we invest. Many people still use it as a means, well, people are investing it f for indexing. No, the majority of people who are putting money in an index, in an ETFs are active investors that are buying exposure. The entire bond market is being transformed as we talk right now. I believe the next generation for markets, the next generation for securities will be, will be tokenization of securities. Um, we will, and if we can have that distributed ledger that we know every beneficial owner, every beneficial uh, seller, we all have our, our, our code right. of who's buying, who's selling, instantaneous settlement. And think about it, it changes the whole ecosystem. Chinese bank ICBC has been hit by a ransomware attack, and the U.S. Treasury market, as a result of that, um, has been disrupted. This, according to the Financial Times, we're, we're getting more right now with Bloomberg's Shanali Basic. Shanali, what do we know? Uh, listen, we have the Financial Times now reporting that ICBC, one of China's largest banks here, was hit with a ransomware attack. And remember, they're a, a very significant intermediary in the Treasury market. The SIFMA has told as members that this has been part of the reason here uh, that the system is kind of clogged up, if you will, during that auction that we saw a little bit before. The attack had prevented ICBC, according to the Financial Times, from settling treasury trades on behalf of other market participants. A large executive at a major bank also telling the paper that such a large party on the fixed income clearing corp uh, creates major concerns, potentially impacting the liquidity of treasury markets. Now it was not just the poor auction. 
it was absolutely lousy. And, and uh, uh, you know, when, when the dealers have to step in to save a treasury auction, uh, that's a rare occurrence. And Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books Crypto Teacher and the New Road Order book. Remember, the New Road Order book shows you how the world really works and it is definitely time for you to wake up out of that sleep especially in the times that we're in right now. Now, guys, I told you in 2023, in the first quarter, we would get an event. And now we have the banking collapse, which the master magicians pulled off the perfect distraction. And at the end of the third quarter, going into the fourth quarter, guys, we're going to have another main event. Now, of course, the markets will still pump and dump. Until we get that next crisis, guys, we know they're going to pull that rug. And all we have to do is watch the Fed to know exactly when that's about to happen. And also, guys, I want to thank those who purchased the three kids' books. It's time to re-educate. Also, much love to those who donate to the Cash Shop Patreon. Much love. Keep it coming. Guys, if you're not a part of the Patreon, make sure you're donating to the channel through the actual cash app. But guys, this next Bitcoin and crypto bull run is going to be a utility run. So you want to make sure you have the cryptos that have real utility. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores. Keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And right now, we have Bitcoin and crypto moving up. And guys, we know this week coming up, we're going to be running into open interest. Guys, it's like clockwork. Get yourself in position. Now, we have the Bitcoin first halving from $12 to 37000 and Bitcoin has definitely been volatile, but guys, we know the Fed was 100% behind it. Now, we have Spot Bitcoin ETF gets $100 million in assets under management in Brazil. And guys, we know we have Spot Bitcoin ETFs in Canada also. And a Spot Bitcoin ETF is definitely going to bring money in crypto, but don't forget, guys, it's going to stabilize the price. And we know the NWO loves the casino. But crypto is definitely the future, and we have Larry Fink. That's why I left that video in there, because these ETFs and ETPs on how they're going to tokenize this whole economy. And remember, the crypto teacher told you. Now, we have Arthur Hayes says, U.S. treatment of CZ Binance is absurd. And he talks about the fines handed down. But guys, we know the banks are the biggest what? And then we also know this whole Binance situation, FTX, Luna, it was all part of the Fed's plan in order to take down these small and medium-sized banks. So all you're doing is watching a movie. Remember, your life is an illusion and TV is your reality. Now, guys, do not forget to pay attention to the actual indicators. We have yield rates up. We have the dollar up. We have volume and crypto down. We have Tether, USDC, and TUSD. And then, of course, guys, we have the Fed. Repo at $867 billion. Don't forget to pull that on a daily basis. We know Janet Yellen is tapping that. And now we have the Financial Stability Board says that crypto may need additional regulatory measures to prevent another FTX. But the key is, guys, we have another paper on crypto. This lets you know crypto is here. It's not going anywhere. Anytime you have the IMF talking about CBDCs and crypto, stable coins is not going anywhere because they're letting you know we're moving over to a whole new economy. And remember, the crypto teacher told you. Now, guys, we're going into December. Right now, crypto and stocks, we're going to continue on having the pumps and dumps. But in the first quarter, we always get a dump. And for the masses, they're getting income taxes. They can care less. They can care less what the stock market is doing. The only thing they're doing is looking at the actual 401ks, and they definitely can care less what cryptos are doing. That's the reason why cryptos can continue to pump and dump. But next year, the emerging markets finally flipped that switch. 
and we're going to feel a rumble inside of the economy. But then also, guys, we have 2024 as presidential year, and the economy normally doesn't tank until they're about to hand over the reins. And we had Biden come out and say, stop the price gouging. Guys, we know the inflation right now is all about corporate greed. But remember the plan. It's the fourth industrial revolution. First, they're going to get rid of these banks and then small businesses. And then the small business, of course, is going to lay off the workers. Remember, small businesses run the U.S. And we already see the big corporations laying off constantly, getting ready for the downturn. And we know the NWO caused the problem, wait for the reaction, and run in with the solution. And that's the robots, algorithms, and drones, and the programmable money. That's the reason why it's so important for you to share these videos and also join the Stock Premium account on Patreon. So therefore, you, friends, and family can prepare. I know what's going on sounds like a movie, but remember, your life is an illusion, and TV is your reality. And remember the crypto teacher told you. Now, guys, do not forget about great scales and about $29.2 billion. But getting over into a little crypto news. We have Tornado Cash. Token falls 57% after Binance announces delisting. And we already had Binance in a lot of areas take away privacy coins. Guys, remember, privacy is going to be the key. Those who understand crypto and can still keep their privacy, it's going to be like having gold. And remember the crypto teacher told you. Remember, technology can be used for good or evil, and it's all about the knowledge. Remember, my people perish from the lack of knowledge because they reject it. Not because it's not there, because they reject it. You have to learn the new economy, the same way the Federal Reserve. Those who understood debt took advantage of it. Debt is not a bad thing if you know how to use it. And that's the reason why they don't teach finances in school. If they did, the whole system would fall apart. Now we have Vitalik Buterin says AI may surpass humans as the apex species. And we know we've had Elon and several others talk about AI being smarter than humans. That would never, ever happen, guys. Remember who's building all these robots, algorithms, and drones? That's right, humanity. But remember who wants to stay in control. And that's the reason why they have to program you into thinking that a machine is smarter than you. Remember who built you. That's right, the most high. Remember who built the computer. That's right, man. Man is trying to just replace the most high. Thinks he's smarter. Thinks he can build better. But guys, we know every single machine requires the most high's properties. Every single one of them. Do not fall for the illusion. Now we have ARK offloads over 43,000 shares of Coinbase, about 5.2 million amid a 18-month high. And when do you sell stock cryptos? When it's going up. Because then you have others coming in buying at the highs. Don't forget, you want to buy low, sell high. But we know the sheep buy high, sell low. And that's the reason why they get out the market and never come back in. Now, we have M2 launches in the UAE with Abu Dhabi Commercial Bank. And we know Kevin O'Leary has been promoting this. I went over it several occasions. And as we see the launch of M2, we see the fall of Binance. The NWO exchanges are about to rise because, guys, we know exchanges are nothing but banks. And lastly, we have Judge says CZ can't return to the UAE ahead of sentencing for now. And we have the movie continuing. Ever since FTX, demise FTX, and Binance has been connected. Even though Binance didn't do anything compared to FTX, but we constantly saw it in the media. Anytime FTX is bought up, we had CZ being bought up. So guys, that does let me know that was part of the plan. And I let you know it was all a movie. Now we have the bank man and CZ are going to be getting sentenced around the same time. And I haven't seen FTX fund. All I've been seeing is recouping of money. And like Arthur Hayes stated, that fund of Binance is ridiculous. But we know all that money is going to the banks because the banks are the biggest what? I'll let you finish that. And remember the crypto teacher told you because he knows. 
when it comes to the NWO. It's all planned out. But guys, all I have for you, don't forget about the books. Crypto Teacher and the New World Order book, plus the three kids' books, it's time to re-educate. Also, New to Crypto's Coinbase, Bitchu, Binance. Do not forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The stock channel, guys. Don't forget to go like, subscribe, spread everywhere. You have your Kobo, your chip size, your banking, your gaming. While everybody's sitting at home, get on stocks. The receiver, the biotech stocks. And while everybody's at home wishing, they were still getting that free money. What are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks and you have a wonderful day. The most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids' books. You know I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis, whether it's your job, whether it's in your community. We have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share. But this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1. King Yahshua and Grandma Tim. Save the village. Part 2. King Yahshua and Grandma Tim. Save New York. Long COVID-33. Part 3. King Yahshua and Grandma Tim. Goes to China. It's mandatory to get Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3 of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.